in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. <laughs> It's 2019, baby, so we gotta start the year with some fresh vibes. One of the things that I wanna show you is my new tattoo piece. I know a lot of people have comments on my tattoos that they love my work and they wanna know who I get my work done. His name is Rich Bustamante. He's over at Leatherneck Tattoos in Brooklyn. I'll put the link to the description below, but yo, you wanna see what art is? Fuck a tattoo. This ain't a tattoo, it's art. Check this bitch out. Today I'm presenting to y'all bitches my stash of Parfums de Marley fragrances. I've had a couple of more, but I've flipped or sold them. Yo, this fragrance game is a hustle, B. You gotta try to get your paper wherever you can make it, cause spending three bills or 250 or even 50 bucks sometimes is a pain in the ass. These prices is fluctuating, we gotta fucks with the market. So let's roll my motherfucking music and get into this shit quick, cause there's a couple fragrances here, and I wanna show y'all bitches what you need in your Parfum de Marley life. Bless it, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. And yeah, we got eight fragrances on the table. And I know what you're thinking. Eight ain't really that much, Kuba. Really? You got eight $300 bottles just chilling everywhere? Probably. Y'all's doing good in life. Congratulations. You played yourself. So I'm just gonna give you my brief breakdown of these fragrances, maybe getting samples of all of them so you can just rub them all over your pelvic regions and chesticles and see if this is something that you wanna get a full bottle of or maybe you think I'm full of shit and you're like, yo, Kuba, you don't know what you're talking about. This one is actually better than this one and vice versa. Whatever. Start the conversation. Do it all up in the comments below. And let's get to this list, bitch. The first one we're going to start off with is this sexy bitch right here, which is none other than Parfums and Marley Nissian. Nissian, oh, she's just a smooth, dry, sexy, patchouli little skank. She's spicy, yet elegant, kind of comforting. Just beautiful should be spoken about more often but it doesn't it doesn't get the love that i think nissian deserves next one the next one on this parfums de marley list is a powerhouse in their stash one of my wifey's favorites from parfums de marley this shit is a motherfucking problem and y'all probably know what it is already this is parfums de marley harrod don't ask about the top shit bro fellow this motherfucker right here is a delicious peppery pipe tobacco in a bottle a heavy bottle. This motherfucker just makes me feel all dark and lovely. Yeah, that kind of dark and lovely. Sexy, mass appealing qualities, dark yet mysterious. Kind of has this element to like, you know when you grab a shorty by the back of her neck and creep your hands up in her hair and kind of squeeze a little bit and she's like, yeah, this shit right here is that in a bottle. I think this is a great introduction fragrance to Parfums de Marley. Letting you know what kind of product they produce, this is a good intro fragrance. First impressions are everything and Herod got a first impression that will make your dick hard as fuck. Next one. The next one on my list is Jardin by Parfums de Marley. Jardin for me smells like a nice, juicy, crisp, caramel apple that was made in the middle of a spice market in Dubai. That's what I get from it. You got a juicy green apple vibe, thick caramel, and if you did it in the middle of a, of a fucking, what are they called, soups or some shit like that, where they sell a bunch of spices, that you don't pour them directly on the apple, but just can't help but fall on the crust of the caramel, that's what I get from this shit. Then you got the stick that you poke up the apple's ass, which is wood, which gives it a woody, caramel, apple, Middle Eastern spicy fragrance. Not for everybody. Some people may be like, eh. Some people who don't like that apple-y kind of vibe. This one is not my favorite on the stash, 
But nevertheless, I appreciate the artistry, which I don't really focus on artistry of much fragrances because I'm kind of ignorant, but this one is definitely artistic as fuck. Next one. The next one in my parfums, the Marley Stash is none other than, oh man, Carlisle. Carlisle is Ojuan's love child. If he found out that the thought that he banged 25 years ago gave birth to a daughter, the daughter grew up to be a slightly slutty, sophisticated, mass appealing, well-educated with a body to match that she got made in DR with a two for one coupon. Ooh. Everybody wants to talk with her. She's got a great personality, but her body's just insane and you can't get past them tig old bitties cause her conversation is actually on point. Ah, uh, Carla for me hits all those little points. Sexy, elegant, mature, mass appealing, performance is amazing. It's just a heavy hitter, if not one of the top three in the Parfums de Marley game. So when you got a shorty walking by you, she'll just do the, what are you wearing? And then you tell her, bugle boy jeans. Next one. The next one is my slight Parfum de Marley disappointment is because I'm a brat and that's latent exclusive. Mini me. That just that pisses me off that it's just so fucking small. I know they were trying to take some of the best parts of Layton and make it darker, oodier, skankier, a little bit more aggressive and a little more profound. I get it, and they did establish that fragrance. I don't dislike this fragrance, but it doesn't do to me what the original did for me. This is a lot of people's top three. I get why it's a lot of people's top three. The performance factor might be better than all of these shits because this bitch does not slouch on performance 10 hours plus on my skin, but it's just a little bit dirtier, a little oodier, a little bit more aggressive, bolder, thicker, kind of like, Arr! but when it's brick ass cold, this motherfucker will perform like a savage. 45 minutes to an hour in the sack. That is about 44 minutes longer than I last, and that's perfectly fine, I'm content with that. Next one. The next one a lot of people don't fuck with, and you know what, I disagree with a lot of people, because that's Percival from Parfums de Marley, AKA Platinum Chanel on steroids. It has all the elements that I love from Platinum Chanel with a little bit of a modern twist to it, not to mention for a freshie, the performance factor is fucking crazy. Eight hours easy on my skin, and this is a fresher fragrance, yes it has some dark nuances to it but it's definitely on the fresher side it's a beautiful fucking fragrance especially for the summer with the performance factor that you want from a Parfums de Marley next one the next one in my Parfums de Marley stash is the golden child I'm talking about Godolphin aka Tuscan Leathers arch nemesis this if this was a superhero comic book this would be the motherfucker who fights Tuscan leather all day every day juicy leather does that make sense no maybe you just jizzed all over the leather different strokes for different folks no judgments but I'm judging super wearable leather it's not offensive it's definitely uber masculine marlboro man straddling on the back of a white horse and the horse got hair that's braided with a fat ass you know what i'm saying if that's even a thing yeah this is masculine as fuck i want to wear leather chaps that are assless with no underwear walk around the streets of manhattan like the naked cowboy and show people that i'm a full 14 inch stallion minus 12 that can beat tuscan leather all day i'm kidding tuscan leather is absolutely gorgeous as well but this just has a little bit of extra juiciness that just makes me mm, makes me want to grow my beard an extra three and a half inches and show off to all the ladies that I'm a fucking alpha man but with a little bit of sweetness next one the last one on my list y'all know what it is already this is my baby I love this shit a lot of people think it might be basic a lot of people do agree with me that this shit is fire and that's Parfums de Marley Layton the original this shit just makes me happy this makes me confident this exudes all the shit that I want in my life, success, growth, sex appeal, <laughs> got that already. Masculinity, crowd pleasing. I want everybody to love me, but I also want everybody to hate me. Why? Because as long as my name is in everybody's mouth, I'm lit, I'm popping. I'm kind of a big fucking deal. Layton is kind of a big fucking deal. Just how can you not like this joint? Sweet, spicy, woody, dark, floral, bright, versatile as fuck, sophisticated yet slightly raunchy. You wanna turn up? I could turn up with you. You wanna dress up? I could dress up with you. You want me to teach you how to tie a tie? I could fuck with you. You wanna fuck with bow ties today? I could fuck with a bow tie. Versatile is my name, but you can call me Layton. This is what I get from this. Parfums de Marley, this is my home run. Carlisle is very close to second. I just hope 
that perfumes in Marley can come up with more fragrances that can maybe top this or at least compete with this motherfucker like a Carlisle or a Harrod so I can continue to grow my collection of perfumes de Marley. These are the fragrances that I have in my stash, but I hope y'all motherfuckers got some insight on what perfumes de Marley be doing. Some people who are big time enthusiasts and fragrance snobs or whatever, like, oh, this shit ain't all that, whatever, cool. That's on you, fam. For me, these shits is lit. And a lot of other people will agree with me. Those who disagree, please put in the comments and disagree with me because I need my comment section to look a little bit more popping for 2019. Are these ball sprays? I'd be happy to spray all of them on my balls. As a matter of fact, it's 2019. Let's go for it. Gonna start off with Layton. Oh, this room is gonna smell crazy. Next one. Adonisian. Oh my God. Harrod. Oh, have them. <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> call out. Oh, <laughs> lane exclusive. <laughs> Almost done. First of all, oh, I'm choking. Hold on. Oh, that why they do two sprays? Dolphin. <sighs> Haven't done it yet. Haven't done it yet. I'm trying to get any oxygen I can. Okay. Oh. That wasn't smart. Oh. I love y'all motherfuckers. From the heart. Smooches. Mom's crib. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would. <laughs> 